In this week's Behind the Scenes tip, I am really taking you behind the scenes. 12 months ago when we first created our three-day workshop, which we're going to be running again here in March. In this video, you'll see how Kerry, my event manager, and I sat down and over a lovely long iced coffee at the Gasworks Cafe in Melbourne, project planned the entire seminar. So if you are a seminar organiser or you run your own events, then uh, you'll be let in behind the scenes of exactly how we plan our projects. Enjoy! This is Kerry, who is event manager extraordinaire um, and is responsible for most of the post-it notes on here. Um, as we'll probably have talked about or will be talking about in another lesson, um, we'll show you how to use your post-it notes either to prepare a presentation. In this case, we're doing it to project manage, basically, aren't we? Yep. So what we've done is Kerry's written her list and we're going through and brainstorming all of the possible things that we need to think about before we even launch this seminar so you can see here we've got things like order forms you know how we're going to take money from people filming and audio um, crew all sorts of you know big chunks and little chunks um, big question on my mind who's going to take the phone calls and so on so you are just going to pour it all out on the page and then in a moment what we're going to do is rearrange it all in um, order and sequence so that uh, so that it makes sense and we've got we've basically got a project plan there. As you can see we're here in the sunshine enjoying a lovely iced coffee at the Gasworks Cafe. Greg's behind the camera, you can't see him. <laughs> <laughs> um, but all in all we believe this should be a very pleasant experience, yeah. true? Yes, yeah, um, So what we've done now, we've finished our brainstorming and we believe we've got everything on this piece of paper that needs to get done before we have our seminar. So what we're doing now is we're transferring it over onto this piece of paper in the order, uh, you'll see across the top here, are the big, big picture things that we're doing. So first thing I've got to do is make some phone calls to JV partners, decide a date, decide the venue and start marketing. And you'll see down here, room size, catering, linen tables, all of those things fall under the venue that we'll select and then you know the sorts of things we need to arrange with them. So we're just going to go across the top in terms of um, timelines and down in terms of what that needs to cover. So marketing, um, that's going to be involved JV negotiation, brochures, So we've pretty much finished putting these in an order and sequence for now, but for now. But our intention is basically to get all of the. When you first decide you're going to start a seminar, your mind swims with all sorts of things that you've got to get done, and you know what about this and what about that. So our intention was to get all of that out and in an order that we can now attack it from. So basically, we've got our project plan. We've got along the top here the big picture categories in the order and sequence that they probably need to happen in order to produce the result that we want, which is a seminar. So making some phone calls to some potential partners would be the first thing. You know, find out what they're up to, would they be interested in prom promoting it if we do go ahead with this and so on. Selecting a date, selecting a venue, marketing the, uh, marketing the thing, getting some sponsorship for it, working out what product we're going to sell. These are the big picture chunks. Underneath each of these are the, the smaller smaller chunks, the smaller um, bits and pieces that need to get done. So under venue, we need to work out what room size, how are we going to cater, um, there's going to be a flip chart there, we've got to organise linen and so on. So all of those things then fall under venue. So we've got everything there that we, we need to think about. Um, and we've got two pages here, so all, uh, you'll notice that we launch, sorry, we, we, we'll launch and then we've still got these things after we've launched our marketing that we need to get done. So pretty much here we've got ourselves, now all we need to do is put some dates on it and, um, and we've got a project plan, which is pretty good. Now you might be wondering, oh my goodness, that looks, sounds like a whole lot of work. It's actually really, really simple. We've done all of this in about the time it takes, I haven't even finished my iced coffee, wherever it is, on the table over there, so I haven't finished my iced coffee yet. Granted, Terry and I did this full time and our lives depended on it for three, two and a half, three years together. So it always helps to get someone who's been there, done that, knows what you've got to think about. I, for instance, would never have thought of linen, <laughs> but Kerry thinks about things like linen. Um, so it's good to get the right people at your table when you're brainstorming. But once you've done it, it makes it a very simple, simple process. So now we'll go through, we'll stick some dates, deadlines by which we want to have these things done, 
we'll delegate what I'm going to do, what Kerry's going to do, what Greg's going to do. Uh, we'll work out, you know, who else do we need to employ to support us in this. And that'll be, that'll be that. Um, that's pretty much all there is to say about this. It's a very simple process once you know how.